Hey guys, we are going to make a bowling pin with using uh, mesh modeling. This should be fun. I'll give you a little bit of a heads up on this. There's a lot of ish on this. There's, I've tried to go through this and get exact measurements, except for the height and width, it ain't going to happen. So there's going to be a lot of playing around. So once you kind of get the gist of it, we're making a bowling pin. All right, it's nothing fancy. There's probably one sitting on my desk right now as we speak. I'm going to try to use measurements, but at the end I found it was easier just to just to push and pull. So here's what we're going to end with. Hopefully yours will look something like mine. It could look better. Who knows? All right, so we're going to do your normal start. New uh, English Standard IPT. All right. Okay. You're going to click on over here, probably will say box at the start. Of course, I don't want a box. Hopefully, you already watched the first tutorial from another dude. Um, hopefully, you found that pretty insightful. So, click cylinder, and it doesn't matter which plane to click on. I'm going to click on the XZ plane this time because I feel like it. It doesn't matter, though. All right, so your radius is going to be 2.25, and your height is going to be 15 inches. That's about the the size if you were to take a piece of wood and use a lathe and you know scrape it down that's what you're going to end up to okay click the middle dot and you'll see you get a nice little tube now, as you saw in the video you can go up and down on these things and what these will do is these will add different rounds i'm just going to keep it easy by just going four because i don't need a whole lot so it's just going to be pretty symmetrical in fact i could probably go down to two but i'll go four to see the heck of it okay faces I am going to go about 12 faces. I'm probably going to add more throughout the process, but I'll teach you how to do that. Now, as you notice, the more faces you get, the less round off this top gets. But I'm going to go back down to four. What's this capped mean? Oh, that's interesting. I don't want that. Okay, press OK. All right, so we're going to use a lot of the same function here. This is nothing fancy. All right, you're mainly going to right-click everything. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start with the very bottom edge. I left-click on it, I right-click, and I go to Edit Form. Now, you always want to click this loop first. What this does is this will choose the entire loop. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to go Scale. Scale is the one on the right-hand side. That's the only tool I'm using through this entire thing. Sorry, it's going to get really monotonous after a while, but it's fun at the end. Okay. I'm going to click this guy right here. Now, I can type in numbers, which you guys usually like. Okay, so my first one is going to be 0.45. I'm going to go about that. Um, don't be shocked if I go back and change it if I don't like how it's shaped. But I'm going to start there and then press check mark. I'm going to go up to the next one. Same thing. Right click. Edit form. I can select loop first if I want to and then select edit form, but I'm kind of clicking the same thing twice, which is annoying. So hit loop if you haven't done so hit scale you're gonna click this little guy right here okay let me show you the differences if you click this one right here it's just gonna bring in this side If you click this one here it'll just be this side this one that looks like a quarter of a pizza or whatever you want to call it if you click this one it will go all the way around the object got it good all right point six so make that change mm. Yeah, 0.65. If you press enter, then undo. Sorry. There's a lot of ish on this. I've done this thing three times already. This is what I'm going to come up with. So, uh, select loop again. Edit form. You didn't select loop. Do it again. Scale. Click the side angle button. And I'm going to go 0.7 on this one. Five. Big little fatter than I did last time. Okay, so we're slowly going to move our way up, edit form, loop, scale, that thing, 0.85. How about that? All right, so I'm going to leave this next one, the actual, no, no, we'll do this one at just 0.95. So edit form, loop, scale, click here, 0.95. This one I'm going to leave the same. Okay, all right. Um, now I'm going to go to this one right here. 
So this is the last one I did. Skipping this one, I'm going to this one. So if you're counting, I'm on one, two, three, four, five, six, about seven up. No, not seven up, but seven lines up. You know what I mean. Click Edit Form again, loop. We're going to do this one. Okay, now we're going to start making those curves of the pin going up. All right, so I'm going to go 0.75. Oops, I guess I didn't click my direction. 0.75. So now I'm starting to go in. Okay, now we're going to do something a little bit different because this contour goes a little sharper now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the select loop. I'm going to go up here to the top. You see where it says insert edge. There's a few other copies here or a few other options. I'm going to go to insert edge. It brings one down, but I want to bring it up. So I'm going to go negative five. So it goes in between there. Okay. So now we see that it inserts another plane. Now, just for the sake of playing around, I'm just kind of just thinking out loud here. If I wanted to, you see what happens if you click the wrong one. It kind of swerves it back and forth. Of course, I don't like this. It looks like a hula thing. All right, anyway, I'll cancel that. Let's go back in and re-edit that one. Scale. Um, now, if you want to, you can start to kind of drag it in yourself if you want to kind of ish this, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to go about 0.8 on that one if you want an exact measurement, but that should be enough. All right. Now, I'm just thinking out loud in my head. Maybe I can just click this next one and go loop. Oh, I can. Ooh, that's going to save me some time. Okay. I'm going to go in a little bit more on this one. Let's go about 0.65 if you want to do an exact number. Okay. All right. So I'm going to exit this one, but. I need another thing here in the middle, so I need another edge. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to Select Loop again. I'm going to go to Insert Edge, and I'm going to add another edge. I did not know I could do that. That's so exciting. Yeah, I'm a dork. All right, Select Loop, Edit Form, Scale. Click here. We're going to move this guy in a little bit more. Um... Look at the bowling pin right beside me. I'm going to go about 0 0.6, 0 0.5-ish, somewhere there. And I'm going to just click the one above it, loop. I'm going to go in and 0.45. So not bad. I think I'm going to go back and adjust right here because it's not really too smooth. But I'll worry about that later. No, nah, I'll do it now. So I'm going to click this one here. I'm going to loop. Okay, by now you should be getting the hang of it if you know what the bowling pin looks like or if you're familiar with it. Dorks like me raising a bowling alley, this is really like second nature, but there's my 0.75 I did on that one. Yes, I'm jumping around. Um, I'm finding I need to expand right here because you got this weird hump. So if you need to, you just go to select loop, insert edge, we're going to go negative, press OK. So I got this new one right here. Oops, I got this new one right here. I'm gonna hit the form, I'm gonna hit the edge, and I'm just gonna bring this one out. So anything above one, oops, I did not want that. So anything above one, so 1.05, will make it bigger. Anything less than one is gonna make it smaller. You decide what works best for you and for your little bowling pin guy. Uh, I like that better. Okay, so I'm going to do this one here, too. Hopefully you're not annoyed with me now for jumping around, but I want this thing to look nice. I'm sure you do, too. Maybe. There we go. I like that better. Okay. Um, so now we have that nice curvature. Uh, this is going to be kind of the apex in the middle where it goes really small, but I do need to add more loops in here. Now, whenever you insert the edge... I'm sure you can add multiple at the same time. Um, maybe, maybe not. So I'm going to keep doing this. And now I'm going to go in here to my edit form. And I'm going to scale. And I'm going to just bring this in. I'm really going to guesstimate this a little bit. So about 0.5 around there. So the next one. Do it again. So the pin's going to start getting a little bit wider now. And it's much easier to see once you get to a done point 
So 0.5 on this one. No, 0.6. Sure, we'll go with that for now. Right now. Um, looks like I made a mistake in there. So I'm going to undo a couple times. So, yeah, this is a lot of playing. This is not an exact science. For those of you guys who love to ish things, this is up your alley. If you don't like to ish things, this is going to be annoying. So I'm just going to keep inserting my loops here because I need a lot of extra edges here. Now you can do like an entire side if you want to. There is no way just to grab everything. Whoa, I just removed that. I didn't want to. Okay, so I'm going to keep adding some edges here so I have a lot of edges. Oops. I didn't select loop. Okay, so if you're following me still, um, I added edges going all the way up. Now, if you look at a normal bowling pin, it's going to be really thin in here, and it's going to slowly make its way bigger until you get to the top. So I'm going to work top down. So I'm going to go up here at the very top, select my loop, because I'm going to go backwards now. Scale this thing down a whole lot. I mean, this thing's going to be tiny, like 0.2. So if you like typing images. Now, unfortunately, when you let go of the mouse button, it does take what number number you do. You just can't click off to the side and do it. At least I don't think you can. I haven't found a way, but you're kind of stuck with that one. <sighs> now, watch this. Sorry, I just took a drink of coffee. Imagine that. All right, I'm going to show you something else, too. You can choose multiple loops at the same time. I know you were hoping for this, weren't you? So let's say I want to do this one here, and I decide I want to do this one here. So I can press Control. I can choose both these right here, and I can do the entire loop. I can scale it, so watch this. Now the whole thing gets smaller, which is kind of cool. So 0.65 around there. Yeah, this is looking ugly, but we're going to fix this. So edit form, another scale, make this guy smaller, about 0.8. I'm kind of liking the pull and drag feature myself. I might make you make a spoon after this, just to relive some happy memories of making catapults. But you might find it educational or annoying, whichever comes first. Okay, so I'm going to keep going in, keep playing around with it, keep trying to shape it. If you're done with the video and you just want to play, go ahead and just play around with it. Uh, this next one I'm going to do, I'm going to start going in 0.7 around there. And watch this. I don't have to even escape. I'm going to stay on here, loop it, and I'm going to go in, I don't know, 0.65. Meh, not bad. All right, I'm going to fix this one right here. Select my loop. I don't know why I keep exiting out. Um, go here, 0.5. Okay, so I'm getting there. Um, need to keep tweaking it. I don't quite have the curvatures. I don't know all the numbers. Um, if I probably had a large caliper, I could go in and I could really figure it out, but I don't. I just have ours at school, so I'm just going to keep playing around with this thing until I like how it's shaped. So. You can probably stop the video here in a minute. If you want to see my result, you can. I am going to finish this on the video, but it's just a plug and play now. You can't fill with this, by the way. These are non-existent shapes, so you just can't go in and start filleting. So once you start this process, you're kind of stuck in it, unless you have sharp edges and stuff, because it doesn't let you just go back in. So... Um, if you want to keep going on your own, go ahead. I'm just going to finish this up and talk to myself for a few minutes. So it's starting to look like a bowling pin. I really need to stop exiting this, this thing. I'm just so used to doing it with other programs we use. Let's go here. There we go. Move this guy in some... Select loop, move this guy in here some. We're starting to look like a bowling pin now. A little bit. Select loop, move in. I think you see now why at the end I'm not using exact measurements because 
this would be really hard to plan out the way I'm 